hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello and welcome so if you tell by the title i am testing out the new p louise a drop of magic palette so i've been so excited when she kind of first leaked these on her tiktok so she was talking about um previous items that had kind of failed and everyone on tiktok just went mental and just said you need to release these palettes so she came out with two palettes and i only picked up one because I'm not made of money and basically I don't have her budget box because I don't want to dedicate £30 each month to just like one brand and so if there's ever something I want I just pick it up so I picked up the black version I know that there is a white palette version as well but this one just spoke out to me the most mainly because the packaging but then both sides so let's have a look at the first side but first it has a little like key lock that it has on some of her previous palettes and as much as I like the packaging it's just so frustrating to like open on camera so I thought I would do it beforehand so this is the first size so this is a green and grey kind of esque palette first section of the palette because like I mentioned there's two sections it comes with a nice mirror um, and this section I actually want to use today because in my previous video I did um, the Cosmic Brushes Gothic palette and that is a purple look that I did so I kind of want to steer away from that but yeah this is the kind of green and grey and then on the other side this is what kind of stole it for me like the red and purples like these purples up here are absolutely stunning but like I mentioned my previous video was all purples and I feel like we're just going to kind of repeat ourselves even though I love purple but yeah there's some gorgeous like tones here and I mean I can't wait to use it in the future but this palette was like I think it was like £36 which again probably not the most affordable but I know that maybe in the future they'll have it on sale in case you do want to get it um, but always check out their TikTok because they always have some kind of sale on um, but yeah I'm going to concentrate on kind of this section so what I'm going to do first is actually put on my P. Louise base, my tape, and then we'll get started because I'm so excited now that we're all primed and ready to go we are going to start off with a Fright Night just here and as per usual like her packaging is like insane I mean I know I mentioned about the kind of lock and key and everything and to be honest that is a bit annoying <laughs> i mean personally i love i love the packaging like obviously but sometimes when you just want to get into a palette you don't want to be like faffing around but i mean i'm never in a rush when i use certain palettes anyway it's totally fine and i love the aesthetic of it and obviously i don't know if i've mentioned like a hundred times on my channel but i'm i love halloween and i love kind of alternative stuff so when she was bringing out like a Halloween collection I was just so excited because I know they are very very like prominent on Christmas like I know that they do a lot for Christmas but they I don't know if they've done much for Halloween in the past because they've done a couple of things but they just haven't done like a crazy amount in well in my opinion but um I'm looking forward to like the advent calendar turning up because I did order it um I am very excited and I I'm not completely broke over it because I mentioned this before but I did it in installments there's no way that I was paying like that much money in one go for an advent calendar so I just um, I'm so excited to get it and I know that I will use hopefully as many of those products as I can um, but this first shade which is called Fright Night is going on really nicely I apologize if there's any noise in the back that is my heater like because my husband's in the shower so that is just really annoying um but yeah that is the first shade which is really really stunning like it's a nice kind of grayish green and i know the light coming in is bad it's really a, like a dark day today so it's a really gloomy out there uh we're gonna go in with spell on you which is just here and it's kind of like a deep green so we are gonna put that in the um wing area to kind of bring that out just so when i take off the cellar tape it's a nice kind of it's nice and like snatched or whatever you kids call it these days um so yeah i'm just gonna blend this in i am going to go in with a bit of um double double just here which is kind of like a gray and i'm actually going to add that with the same brush kind of just a bit more to the top just over here now with a P. Louise brush I'm going to go in with a phantom which is this gorgeous green and we're just going to kind of just take it right handed 
and just bring it here. Okay, I'm gonna go in next with You Go Girl, just here, which is like a gray. And so I'm gonna take that with the same green brush and we're just gonna put it towards the middle here and then we will put on some shimmers because we like to end all makeup looks with a shimmer, just here. Now to kind of end off the shimmers on just the lids, we're going to go in with a trick or treat just here. So it's kind of like a bluey green shimmer and I'm just going to take a flat brush and I'm just going to kind of take it over the, the bottom bit or what's left here and just tap it in. Corner, I'm, there's like two shimmers that I kind of want to use, which is Witch's Brew and Dead End, but I might go in with Dead End because it's got more of a, like a bluey speck to it and I've just crumbled it everywhere because of my stupid brush but we're just gonna take some on the inner corners and one thing that I like so far there's not been like really any fallout because I know with most of her palettes there's not really much fallout anyway but I love how um how gorgeous these shades are like the shimmers are stunning I do have to board them up quite a bit but it's not too bad so I'm gonna go off camera put on the rest of my face and then I'll always I'll give you my final thoughts okay and this is my finished look let me know what you guys think this palette I mean and what to say apart from it just being really really lovely and again I've never really had any issues with P Louise's formula especially the shimmers they always stand out and these mattes today are fantastic it's like a nicey a nicey <laughs> a bluey green ice look which i really like so this section i really really like in the future i will definitely use like this other section i'm hoping maybe before halloween but we'll see how it goes with my kind of timing and scheduling and everything but um yeah let me know what you guys think have you picked up this collection and what do you think i know for her black friday stuff they're already announcing that things that are coming out it's like a butterfly collection i don't know if it's up my street but we'll see if there's any good discounts and thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe because i film and upload every time i get a chance to don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because i'm always active on there i appreciate you guys sitting down listening to me ramble on i hope to see you in the next one Bye bye <laughs>